Well, in a previous Three in Your Side report, I talked about gift cards and inactivity fees and the fact that many consumers out there don't even know inactivity fees even exist. Well, since then, I have an update. I'm very happy to get a resolution, and you guys are awesome. Connie Kirk says things have really turned around since she contacted Three on Your Side. In a previous report, Connie explained how she purchased three $30 gift cards for a total of 90 bucks. The cards were issued by U.S. Bank. However, because she kept the cards in a drawer and did not use them in a timely manner, U.S. Bank deducted monthly inactivity fees that whittled away the $90 balance and eventually made the cards worthless. I feel like this is a legal scam. In that report, Three on Your Side warned viewers that these days, many gift cards have something called inactivity fees, and as a result, we recommend that consumers always use gift cards as soon as they receive them. At the time, Connie said it was certainly a learning lesson. I'm going to be very cautious about purchasing any more gift cards. Three on Your Side also got a hold of U.S. Bank, which looked into the matter for us and then sent us an email saying U.S. Bank gift cards purchased on or after January 1st, 2017 do not incur inactivity fees. And as a goodwill gesture, U.S. Bank even forwarded Connie a little package. And when she opened it, she discovered U.S. Bank replaced her lost funds with another gift card for $90. This is it, $90. I'm a happy camper. But to her surprise, the replacement card still had that pesky inactivity fee of $2 a month. Regardless, Connie says she's happy U.S. Bank reimbursed her and says she owes it all to Three on Your Side. I would highly recommend anybody that has a grievance to contact Three on Your Side. I mean, it's just been an awesome experience. Of course, a big thank you to U.S. Bank for reimbursing Three on Your Side's viewer. By the way, if you get any kind of a gift card, whether it's from a restaurant or a retailer, really doesn't matter. If you get a gift card, a good rule of thumb is to try to use it within the first month that you get it. That way, those inactivity fees won't rack up. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.